I'd say Vance is pretty much good at everything. Uh, I think his technique is good. I haven't seen him do it like that many special deliveries. I know he was training it really one day. He posted like him doing special delivery, I think like 10 times in different ways. So I think his accuracy is pretty on point. I just want to point out, I just noticed, of the 10 fastest times on stage one, Caleb Bergstrom is the oldest, and I think he's like 21. Yep. That is insane. Well, Vance Walker um, has beaten stage one quite a bit at both youth finals and the world championship. All but one year. And that was Those only because of a razor-thin DQ. He's going to skip this. No, he's not going to skip this second special delivery, but he catches it very cleanly. He has great time. He wants a fast time because he's another one of those athletes that can definitely do really thin grams. We're going to see Edge of Dreams later on in Stage 3. It's a buffed version of Edge of Dreams from what you've seen in the last couple of days. Vance can definitely do that, but he's got to get there first. Well, he makes his way through. And he lands it. We've already seen five finishers. You must defeat stage two in order to touch stage three. Otherwise, you're only going to be testing. Vance wants it to count. Oh my and God, he just no! Fell on momentum shift! I am shocked! Wow, just didn't have the distance to get those hands I wrapped fully around and. That little swing forward, if he had had a, an extra second to just pop those hands up a little bit more, he probably would have been fine, but just did not land where he needed to. Maybe threw a little bit too far away, got a little too fully extended forward.